Grandpa was mostly left alone in front of the television. It didn't matter what channel they put it on, he never complained. Then again, they weren't sure he was watching it either. Most of the time, he slept on the couch the way he sat, sitting up and always clutching something in his right fist. He was a shell of his former self and a decorated war veteran. He never shared his war stories with anyone. When his grandson was given an assignment from school to interview someone who had lived through his significant historical events, the first person he thought of was his grandfather, and the old man was surprisingly talkative. Grandson barely asked a couple of his questions when his grandfather rambled on about the war. He recounted his experiences of the Second World War without any remorse. The more he spoke, the more their blood ran cold. He helped run a concentration camp, and the more he spoke, the happier he seemed. Without any warning, he stopped talking and stopped breathing. His son checked the hand that clutched the mystery object he held onto for decades. It was a bullet he saved for himself.